In the ever-evolving story of human evolution, a mysterious new player emerges. Homo Longi, the Dragon Man. This ancient relative has the potential to redefine our understanding of our own origins. Join us as we embark on a journey to unveil the secrets of Homo Longi, exploring its discovery, unique features, and potential impact on the human family tree. The discovery of Homo Longi. Our story begins in 1933 in Harbin, a city in northeastern China. A construction worker, while working on a bridge project, discovered a remarkable skull. Amidst the turmoil of the time, he made a fateful decision to hide his discovery in an abandoned well, protecting it from falling into the wrong hands. Fast forward to 2018, when the construction worker's family retrieved the skull and handed it over to scientists for analysis. Little did they know that this act would spark an exciting new chapter in the study of human evolution. Named the Harbin Cranium, this skull was later identified as a new hominin species Homo longi. A closer look features of Homo longi. The Harbin Cranium showcases a unique blend of ancient and modern traits. Its large brain capacity, around 1,420 cubic centimeters, suggests advanced cognitive abilities, while its massive brow ridge and distinct facial structure set it apart from other hominins. The cranium's size indicates that Homo longi had a robust build and possibly stood taller than Neanderthals. The age of the skull has been estimated to be more than 146,000 years old. As we delve deeper into the world of Homo longi, we examine the skull's features in detail comparing it to other hominin species, such as Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, and exploring the implications of these differences. The hominin landscape in Asia. East Asia has long been a hotbed for the discovery of new hominin species. The presence of Homo longi in this region raises questions about the diversity of early human relatives in Asia and their role in the overall human story. At the time when Homo longi lived, the region likely featured a mosaic of environments, including forests, grasslands, and wetlands, providing diverse habitats for hominin species. Join us as we explore the complex landscape of hominin species in Asia and investigate the possibility that East Asia played a crucial part in the development of our own species, Homo sapiens. Debating Homo longi's place in the hominin family tree, with the discovery of Homo longi comes a whirlwind of debate. Some experts argue that the Dragon Man may be more closely related to us than the Neanderthals, while others suggest that it could be a known species like the Denisovans. Professor Chris Stringer, a leading anthropologist from the Natural History Museum in London, posits that Homo longi might be a sister group to Homo sapiens, sharing a more recent common ancestor with us than with Neanderthals. In contrast, other researchers argue that the Harbin Cranium might belong to the elusive Denisovans, whose genetic legacy can still be found in modern populations across Asia. We delve into these competing theories and hear from experts like Professor Stringer and other researchers as they present their viewpoints and supporting evidence. Life of Homo longi what was life like for Homo longi? How did they live, interact, and survive in the Pali environment they inhabited? Our journey will take us through the world of the Dragon Man as we explore the challenges they faced and their potential interactions with other hominin species. Based on the available evidence, it is likely that Homo longi was an omnivorous species adapting its diet to the resources available in the diverse environments of East Asia. Some researchers believe that Homo longi may have used tools and had complex social structures, similar to other hominins like Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. This hypothesis is supported by the large brain capacity of the Harbin cranium, which suggests advanced cognitive abilities. Genetic insights and future research 
As the search for answers about Homo longi continues, scientists are turning to cutting-edge technology and genetic analysis in the hope of uncovering new clues. While no DNA has been extracted from the Harbin cranium yet, researchers are optimistic that future advancements in technology may allow for genetic sequencing, providing a wealth of information about the Dragon Man's relationship to other hominins and its place in the human family tree. The importance of further fossil discoveries cannot be overstated, as additional evidence may help to resolve some of the questions and debates surrounding Homo longi. The impact of Homo longi on our understanding of human evolution. The discovery of Homo longi has far-reaching implications for the study of human evolution. Challenging the prevailing out of Africa hypothesis, the Dragon Man invites us to reconsider the narrative of our own origins. Join us as we explore how Homo longi may redefine the hominin family tree and the broader context of our shared history. Its discovery emphasizes the complexity of the human evolutionary story and highlights the importance of continuous research and the re-evaluation of existing evidence. Conclusion As we conclude our journey into the world of Homo longi, we recognize that our understanding of human evolution is an ever-evolving story. New discoveries, like the Dragon Man, continually reshape our perspective and challenge long-held beliefs. With the tireless efforts of researchers, archaeologists, and scientists worldwide, the enigmatic Homo longi will undoubtedly reveal more insights into our shared past. As we continue to unearth the secrets of our ancient relatives, we are reminded that the story of our origins is not only complex but also profoundly intertwined. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating expedition into the world of the Dragon Man. As we have unveiled the mysteries of Homo longi and its potential impact on our understanding of human evolution.